Okay, we're gonna do the Sega Nomad LCD mod today. As you can see, the LCD in there works, but it's just, uh, I've changed the glass. You know, it's very washed out, the colors, and hard to really enjoy uh, in the best possible way. So we're gonna change out the screen for a new one here, and hopefully that makes it look uh, a bit better. I put a little cling wrap down <clears throat> to protect the new glass. So we're gonna follow Sega-holic's guide. The only difference is between what Sega-holic did and uh, what I'm going to do is that I've got the housing uh, 3D printed uh, that will make the screen centered. Uh, but I'm gonna follow his wiring exactly. So this time we'll test the screen here. Let's give it some power. Just a quick test. We're in business. So I'm gonna go ahead and solder these wires on so I can get a lower voltage from the board than what it normally outputs. You can connect 12 volts to this and there's a step down converter according to what I've learned on there that kind of decreases that down to five volts but Sega-holic tested and, and saw that it actually will run at 3.3 volts which means the Nomad could get even longer battery life uh, by not having so much power going to the screen so I'm gonna strip some wires here I love this wire stripper it's pretty awesome stick your wire in there boom wire stripped and I don't want too much exposed wire because we're going to be trying to uh, you know, make sure that nothing touches anything else, nothing shorts anything. So we're going to continue on with this Nomad project today. Decided that I need the phone for magnification. So we're going to go ahead and get this wire on here. 
and I want to approach it in a way that won't damage or touch any other components. I'm going to add a little bit of flux to the board. Okay. Just a little. The flux will help uh, bond this together. Okay, so let's get a little flux on there. Now we've got the ground wire down. And lastly, we need to get our video signal from this pin right here, okay? So we need to take our yellow wire, and I'm using yellow to kind of signify video. So it's the case with like RCA, right? And there we go, we got it soldered to that pin. Now, my board should be ready for our next test. And our next test is testing the Nomad. Okay, here's another test to see if we did it right. We got it wired into where your, your uh, Sega Mega Drive cable would normally go, or your Sega Genesis cable would go. And let's see what happens. Yeah, buddy! Okay, so we tested it with two games, and it works. Now we have to work on getting the screen mounted inside the device and soldering the wires directly to the board. Okay, so we got the screen kind of stuck in there now the way we want it. And now, we're going to move on to our next phase here, which is uh, 
get the um, soldering to the main board here. And we need our first red wire, which is our, our five volts, our power. We need that to come to a very small point here. And it is that point. I'm gonna hit that spot again. So I'm gonna remove some excess solder here. Okay, so now video is supposed to go to TP237. So our video wires are yellow. Okay, so that's that. All right, and then we have one more wire to go. It is our green ground wire here, and that's just gonna go to that nice point off the side there. So we're gonna go. There. Just like that. That one's on there now too. And now we're gonna, I'm just gonna get a Q-tip and some alcohol and kind of clean up the area. I'm just gonna 